today in this lecture we are going to talk about number systems number system is a part of data representation in computers if you look into our syllabus the first section is fundamentals of computer science under the fundamentals of computer science we need to learn data representation in computers so that's the first section so in this lesson in this lesson series we are going to learn about data representation in computers this section i'm going to cover in three lectures in the first lecture in this lecture we will learn about number systems and representation of decimal numbers in the second lecture we will discuss about number system conversion and arithmetic operations and in the third lecture we will discuss about applications of number system in computer science how number system apply into computers and uh, how computers represent data using number systems right in this lecture series let's see what you will learn at the end of these three lectures you will learn about four number systems you will learn about decimal number system binary octal and hexadecimal number systems then you will learn how to represent numbers in these systems and also you will learn how to convert numbers between different systems then you will learn about basic arithmetic operation and we will discuss about limitations of number system when apply into computers at the end of this lecture series you will have a good understanding about how computers represent data using number systems or how number systems apply in computers to represent data why we learn number system because number system is a part of mathematics most of you already learn about this number system in primary grades but most of you already forgot on that so why we learn it here again because we need to learn number systems to understand how computers work without now understanding the number system you cannot learn how these computers work right number system is the basic is the foundation of computers computers are built according to mathematical theories not only built built operation <laughs> right both all these are mathematical things for an example you know that uh, there are two type of computers 32 bit and 64 bit computers if you don't know that you can uh, search on the google and find out more about these two different uh, computer system your systems either belong to 32 uh, bit or 64 bit why because these terms actually come from basics of number systems these are computers mean these are actually things in the processor so we will discuss about these thing in the when we discuss in processor architecture All right another example you know all these memory cards used in your smartphone or in the computer all these memory cards comes in like 8 32 64 12 8 5 12 in the in the number series of that it won't come like uh, 10 20 30 it won't come like that it comes like 8 30 32 64 1 2 8 5 12 like that's the pattern of the these memories right so why these memory cards comes like that the reason is number system reason to understand why you need to learn number system so by learning the number system you will have a good understanding about how computer handle data so that's why you need to learn number system so let's start the lecture introduction to number system and representation of decimal number so let's see what is a number system what is a number system forget this uh, definition in general terms let's discuss what is a number system number system is a system that we we need a number system to express values right to tell someone to tell that i have this this sort of things this i i need to express counts right i have uh, 100 oranges and i would like to sell one orange for 1 dollar i am just an example right so to tell things like that we need numbers without numbers how do, how we can uh, express values so 
these not terms of number systems goes many 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 thousand years ago because when people start trading they had to use some sort of numbers to express values therefore these number systems uh, came into mathematics and then developed it's not a sudden thing is 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 a different number system used in different cultures right so uh, for a long thousands of years we humans use these number systems right now let's see uh, to this definition a number system is defined as a system of writing to express numbers right it's a system to define to express numbers we need to uh, tell numbers values counts to other people right so to do that we need a number system that is a number system so it is a mathematical notation for representing numbers of a given set by using digits or other symbols in a consistent manner so to express value what we need to write something we need what we need sort of symbols all these what we write these are symbols so we need symbols to write down this value so not any kind of system a uh, predefined sim sy predefined symbols right these symbols should have a limit that we call a set of symbol for an example uh, we use 0 to 9 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these symbols we use to express values in our day to day activities we need a set of symbols right not only a set of symbols these symbols should have a pattern so one symbol can represent one value two can represent two two cannot represent any other value two is two but to represent 20 we need to use two and zero right two and zero at two after zero we know that value is 20 so zero after uh, so, uh, zero and two means it is still two so this kind of understanding we need to have a pattern so that's what we call a consistent manner that's what it mean in this uh, definition consistent manner means it should, it should have a pattern so using this limited set of symbols and the pattern we can express any value is it true or not is it true or not because we have symbols 0 to 9 using these 0 to 9 can we express any values yes we can we know how to write any value using these symbols so that is what it means by consistent manner right a number is a mathematical value used for counting or measure or labeling objects a number when you get a number why we use number to express value to count right to write down so number is a mathematical value to use for what to use for these things right numbers are used to perform arithmetic calculation without a number system how we can do the additions multiplications subtraction divisions we need to have a number systems to do these things right when we have a number system addition is easy so we can add two numbers and get another value number system is basically a system with symbols a set of symbols right used in a consistent pattern right or scientific pattern mathematical pattern right number system is a set of symbols we use in a pattern to express values that is a number system a number can have one symbol symbol means we know what symbols right we already we discussed a set of symbols we need no a one symbol is called a digit in a number in the terms of number system we call it a digit so if you get 256 there are three symbols but we call there are three digits we don't call it a symbol even it is true it is acceptable but in the terms of mathematics we call it a, a digit and the position of the number right to express a value to understand a value to understand that 256 is 256 that we know when we write 256 we know the value is 256 how we understand that value how we know that this is, this is 256 
because use in the position right we know that if there are only one that value is between 1 and 10 if there are two digits we know the value is between either 1 and 99 no 10 and 99 right because when we can use 0 to 0 2 0 3 still the value is 3 because we ignore 0 before the some before this number right? that's our common sense right but using this number of digits we need to understand which position this digit is in whether it's in the 10 position 100 position or 1000 position right or 10000 no 100000 position so using this the position num the, the numbers the number the digit count we can understand the value but also we need to know what is the base of this number base of the number system is simply how many symbols we use in the particular number system we call it the base for example 0 to 9 we have how many symbols how many digits there are 10 symbols 0 to 9 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there are 10 symbols so we call this base 10 number system if you have only 1 to 5 so we call it base 5 number system right number of symbols we call the base of the number system so in the computer science we learn four different number system decimal binary octal and hexadecimal number system these are the four number system that we are going to learn now we are going to get a, a start starting point to our uh, lesson um, we are discuss we, we are going to discuss about our human mind number system human mind mean the what the human mind is trained to use what number system what is the number system that we are most familiar with are we familiar with uh, zero yes are you familiar with one two three four five six yes seven eight nine yes we are familiar with that one so in our day-to-day -day life from the day that we started learning we learn to use these numbers we start counting using these numbers we start counting using one two three four five like that we start to count so from the very beginning we practice our mind to use this particular number system and this system is called decimal number system right there are other words basically this is the decimal number system decimal number system is the number system that our human mind can understand easily right this is also called hindu arabic number system base 10 number system denary or decanary system right all these are same terms but the most correct one is base 10 number system that is the the correct term right all other terms are we use as informal terms uh, there's a short term when we write in uh, decimal number system we can use DEC to indicate that this is a decimal number uh, D should be capital and other ECI should be simple right. this is the oldest number system in human history right uh, why this is called uh, Hindu Arabic number system? This is just we are discussing some history. Uh, these are not important for the exam, right? Uh, why we call this uh, Hindu Arabic number system? Because um, this system is the oldest one in the recorded history. In the ancient times, India and the Arabic in the, in that time it's called Babylon, Babylonia. Uh, these these two uh, countries or these two areas are the most developed economic center of the world right so these people are people develop a number system for commercial trading and this is called hindu arabic system this is the system that we still use this is also called base 10 system why because these numbers 1 to 10 originated from you count, count we used to count using our fingers there are 10 fingers in hands we used to count things using fingers so that's why these numbers are limited to 10 right Let, now let's discuss about base 10 system base 10 system consists of numbers 0 to 9 these are actually we call symbols these are the symbols used in base 10 system 
now the let's discuss what is the number what is the value what we discuss na right now it this is true for every number system right from any number system you need to have symbols right a set of symbol is called a number now here to when we get this 1 4 5 6 9 this uh, these symbols together it it create the number what is the number it creates 14569 that is the number this whole set is the number right one one symbol is called a digit how many digits are there in this number how many digits are there 1 2 3 4 5 there are five digits a single symbol in a number is called a digit that is the term that is the mathematical term right then we have position position of the digit is determined by calculating the position from zero start from right hand side right it count from right side to left side last digit in the number have the position of zero from zero 1 2 3 4 right the position of the digit is start from right side what is the Uh, the position of uh, number the digit 9 position is 0 what is the position of uh, digit 5 uh, the position is 2 what is the position of digit 1 the position is 4 this position has other names we call it position we call index right we call exponent sometimes when we get the position with the base we call it power but position itself we go don't call it power but position when express with the base we call it power all right so the most common terms used in textbooks is exponent we call it exponent right then we need the base so we write down the base at the end of the number right let it go down to uh, show that this number is in base 10 right so base is called radix in most textbooks this base is called radix so most com most common uh, terms used to uh, express position is exponent uh, to express base the most uh, common uh, term used in the textbooks is radix right so a number or a value should have digits digits have position or exponent uh, number has a base or radix right this is how we express a number or value this is common for every number systems not only base 10 number system every number systems right this is common right how to represent a decimal number the standard way we need to write down the base of the system at the end of the number system as shown above right otherwise we don't know what is this number system is belong to now let's see whole number and fraction we can represent any amount any size any count using above symbols that is the nature of this number system we can we can represent any amount right for example we can represent two oranges that let's see that i have two oranges and i want to write it down how i write it down i write it down with uh, using the symbol two this symbol symbol shows that there are two oranges if there are 10 oranges i write down like one zero right right if there are 1353 uh, oranges then i write down 1353 so anyone seen this number can understand how many oranges are there right before we before i go down to this whole number and fraction i want you to understand how to write down numbers using number system right now let's get down to this uh, drawing board 
uh, we know that now uh, in the decimal number system we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8